Hey guys, Alex Magar here, owner and creator of the Transform Nutrition Challenges app. Uh, I'm coming to you today with your intro video for the Paleo Challenge group. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen here in a moment and we are going to go through the intro PDF uh, from start to finish. And you'll also have access to that PDF so you can kind of look through it at your own time as well too. So before we start that, uh, let's talk a little bit about paleo. Um, what is paleo? Um, it's gotten really popular in recent years. CrossFit has adopted it as its main, um, uh, main source of uh, diet, diet advice. And it's basically blown up because CrossFit's blown up. It's awesome, right? So let's go ahead, talk about it. Um, paleo works. Um, for almost everybody, guys, um, it's a really strict diet. Um, there's a lot of restrictions to it, um, but once you get those restrictions down, it's really quite simple because you don't have to do a lot of other things like uh, counting your macros, counting calories, weighing your food, deciding how much you're gonna eat. You could eat as much as you want on this diet as long as it's within the parameters of the paleo restrictions, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna share my screen here, so it's gonna take a second. All right. All right, here is our paleo challenge. So what is paleo, guys? In its simplest terms, um, it's basically believed that in the Paleolithic era, um, people ate a lot healthier than modern man. They ate what their bodies craved and what they needed because of the ways that we evolved. Um, it's thought that we've taken ourselves out of that mindset that we're eating not the way that we're supposed to. Um, back then, tens of thousands of years ago, they basically did that because they ate what they were able to eat. Um, if they couldn't hunt for it, fish for it, or kill it, or forage for it, uh, they basically didn't eat it. So if people were more fit, strong, fast, agile, and they dealt with less chronic diseases back then than we do today, especially with all of our technology and medicine, uh, what happened? Well, agriculture happened, guys. Mass agriculture um, locked us into some golden handcuffs, per se. And let's go ahead and explain to you why, why that is. Um, I thought agriculture was a good thing. Yeah, of course it's a good thing. It feeds people all across the earth. Um, but the way that we build our society, we're dependent on it, guys. Um, it, it's handcuffed us into eating what mass producers are able to make money from, okay? Um, and we just kind of blindly, blindly follow that. Um, what happened about 10,000 years ago, um, which is really just a blink of an eye in our evolutionary process, mass agriculture allowed humans to stay in one area instead of moving across the land in search of fresh and seasoned food. Okay, so we started getting less exercise, exercise by moving dis, uh, long distances per day. And we started eating food that wasn't naturally grown within certain seasons, okay? So it wasn't natural. This caused overcrowding and overpopulation in the towns and villages that were developed. Um, and it created a, more of a need for farming foods that are easily grown. So you can see what's happening here. It's a little bit of a vicious cycle that was created and got worse and worse and worse. Um, so people needed to grow food easily. And what grows easily? Wheats and sugars are carbs that became our staple, our main staple of our diet, okay? This became our diet um, in a relatively short period of time. It takes hundreds of thousands of years for animals to evolve um, into what we need to be eating every day. And we changed our complete food source within just a thousand years. So that's that's really nothing. And that's why we're starting to see today um, things like uh, gluten intolerances, food allergies, um, uh, obesity, uh, heart disease, um, diabetes, chronic, these types of chronic diseases are running rampant. And it's really just because of what we're eating. And this is why we're eating it. We're handcuffed into this type of society. So why does paleo work? Just like I've really explained in some of these other videos, and uh, hopefully you're starting to get a sense of um, why we're here, and, and that's really the overabundance of eating carbohydrates and sugars, guys. Um, so when you eat a lot of carbohydrates, 
those are broken down in your body as glucose. And you're, when your sugars rise, your insulin levels are out of whack and that creates a lot more problems such as diabetes, as well as your, um, your body creating more fat storages, creating obesity. Um, because carbohydrates and wheat products are broken down in the body and converted to glucose, when you're eating paleo, your only source of sugar is natural. It's basically just fruits, okay? And we're gonna get more into that here in a moment when we dive into the restrictions of paleo. Um, so a couple um, general rules of thumb for paleo before we get too far into it. Um, if you can hunt for it or fish for it and kill it, it's good to eat, okay? That's the main thing you hear when you think of paleo, a lot of eating meats, okay? And that's okay, that's not bad for you. If you can forage for it, pick it up and eat it, nuts, seeds, berries, you know, vegetables, things like that, it's good for you to eat. Learn to love your vegetables, guys. Just like every other diet, um, it's gonna be really hard for you if you don't learn to eat vegetables abundantly. Um, and then finally, if it comes in a package or was created slash processed by man, then it's probably not good to eat, okay? Um, that's the basics of it, guys. That's your rule of thumb. It's pretty simple to follow. Um, let's go ahead and get a little bit farther into it. Um, strict paleo um, is a little bit debated, guys. Is this paleo? Is that paleo? Well, this is good for you in some aspects, but it's not good for you in some other aspects. Some of this you're going to have to talk to the creator of the, your group, the admin, and really determine together how you guys want your paleo challenge to be. Um, for instance, are you guys going to allow no alcohol or are you going to allow no coffee or cheese or anything like that? Um, even though those are technically not paleo, some people find it okay. So you have to decide that. So first up on the list, um, for strict paleo, no dairy, okay? It, it's a processed food. Dairy really is a necessity of ours after infancy, just like any other mammal, um, really. Nobody, no animals eat dairy after after their little babies. Um, our bodies just don't break it down efficiently. And for the most part, for some people, it can be intolerable. Um, but we'd like to be safe, so no dairy. No beans, legumes, or soy. Um, the reason for this is it's a histamine, guys. This creates swelling in the body, um, and it's difficult for our bodies to digest. For this reason, uh, no types of beans or lentils are allowed, um, and also peanuts in, in um, real paleo restrictions. A lot of certain oils, and th these, are, these certain oils are highly processed, so you should know you shouldn't be eating them anyways. Canola oil, vegetable oil, Crisco, margarine, et cetera, anything like that. The only cooking oils that you really should be eating is olive oil and coconut oil, due to the fact that these have um, such a high content of healthy fats for you. Uh, and remember, it's always good to uh, hear this again, over and over again, that doesn't make you fat, okay? Next, when I say no grains, we mentioned it before, uh, I mean all grains, okay? There's a difference between paleo and eating whole or eating clean, which is another one of our groups. Um, and then paleo, there are no types of green, no whole wheat, no rice, no corn, no quinoa, tortilla, corn chips, um, any type of gluten, um, products containing gluten at all. Um, so wheat and rye, um, gluten containing products, all out, all right? Our body really, our bodies really do have an intolerance to them. So no starches, just again, because it's uh, inflammatory. Um, no white potatoes, guys. These are usually highly processed over farm. Our bodies don't react well to it. Um, but on that thought, uh, sweet potatoes, really good for you, all right? So sweet potatoes are one of those that are allowed. Here's one that everybody always gripes about is no alcohol on paleo diet, guys. Well, it's created from sugars, it's fermented, it's processed. This technically isn't something that caveman ate, right? But it, this is a really big part of our socializing and how we do it today, um, to have fun, let loose. It's really important. So you guys have to decide if you're going to allow alcohol or not on your paleo challenge. Um, it is technically paleo, though, not to eat alcohol. Okay, um, again, another big debated one, no salt. Um, typically, while you're eating paleo, you're gonna be eating less salts anyways. Um, and I think most people agree that a healthy amount of salt is very important to a balanced diet, okay? Um, it's up to you and your creator again. Um, 
my suggestion is to not eat regular table salt, but only eat um, non-processed sea salts, okay? So that's probably gonna be your best bet when you're deciding how you're going to do this. Um, all seafood, all fish technically is paleo. Um, there's a lot of fish out there that tend to um, have higher amounts of mer mercury in it. Um, and again, our bodies just aren't designed to break that down um, the way that uh, we are regular other foods. So um, thing, uh, fish like mackerel and swordfish typically have high contents of mercury. So try to cut those out of your diet and uh, do a quick search and see if you can find any other fish that, that are kind of like that as well too. Another big one guys that is really overlooked and hard to do is no condiments or dressings in paleo restrictions guys. These are highly processed. There's almost a always a ton of sugars in condiments and dressings. Um, and there's always a lot of gluten in them as well too. So um, most anything won't meet this cup. Um, however, there are definitely a lot of options out there. There's a lot of different recipes that you can make um, typical table condiments using different types of vinegars and spices and ingredients. So um, try to search for those recipes. You'll find some, we'll post them every now and again um, so that you're not going crazy just <laughs> eating lettuce and meat, okay? So this sums it up um, uh, pretty nicely. Over here on the right is our food pyramid. <laughs> okay, so paleo-proof foods, meats, all right? Hunt it or kill it, you could eat it. Fruits, eat them in moderation because they are um, uh, sugar, basically. Vegetables, learn to love them. Eat them a lot. Nuts and berries, same thing, okay? So what are we avoiding or limiting um, in paleo? Any type of grains, any type of dairy, your sugars, your legumes, your starches, your processed foods, and your, your alcohol, like we mentioned earlier, it's up to you and your creator um, to decide if you're going to include that in your challenge or not. So it's really that simple, guys. The best thing about this is there's no counting calories or spending a lot of time um, counting macros and cooking and preparing for macros and determining what your macros and calorie intake should be. Um, you can eat as much as you like if you're eating the right types of foods, all right? Um, this sounds a lot like the whole or clean eating challenges, um, our general health and wellness challenge. Um, but there's a few more restrictions on it, just like all grains are out, um, the legumes, soy, beans, um, starches, and so forth, okay? Um, all right. So using this challenge in the app is also really easy. When you guys go ahead and get going when on the day that your your challenge group starts, you're going to see all your point parameters pop up on your homepage. And this is what it kind of looks like over here on the right. Your five base points um, is an option to you every day. And then, and you are able to click on that parameter and get your five points every day. If you hold to all of the restrictions um, meeting paleo standards, okay? There's a couple other pro, um, point parameters um, that your creator may choose to um, uh, combine into the group as well too, and those are typically worth one point. So remember guys, stay competitive, stay at the top of that ranking list, and you're gonna stay motivated to, to really do well with this. If you last more than a week or two, you're gonna fall into this, this regimen, you're gonna hit your stride, and it's gonna be much easier to stick with. So that for, remember, that first couple of weeks, it's the hardest. But you know, stay on yourself as much as possible to log your points, so that you stay, so that you keep on track of it, okay? So one huge tip with this is going to be meal prep, guys. Um, just like any of these other diets, it's really important because you don't want to have to be on a whim going out to lunch and figuring out how you're going to do this with your coworkers on paleo, all right? Pick one day per week. Usually Sunday's the best, it's the easiest. We don't have as much to do on Sundays typically. And prepare large meals and then break it up into smaller amounts, put it in some Tupperware, freeze it, and eat it throughout the week, all right? Um, it makes your life 100 times easier, believe me, guys. So glycemic index, we've talked about this a little bit before in some other challenges, and uh, what is the glycemic index? It's basically um, assigning a, uh, any type of food a number 
to decide if it's broken down, how quickly it's broken down and how many um, sugars are being introduced into your body. Um, and again, this you know, creates a whole host of other issues. So this is a really great list to follow for your high glycemic foods versus your low glycemic foods. Try to stay away from your high glycemic foods, even if it does meet your um, uh, paleo restrictions, like some fruits, uh, guava, mango, pa papaya, prunes, bananas, things like that. Even though they meet paleo, try not to eat them all the time and make it your one source, okay? So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed your introduction to the paleo challenge. Um, let us know if you have any questions. It's a hard challenge, but like I said, get through those first couple weeks. Um, feed off each other, guys. Motivate each other. Share recipes. Make this your lifestyle and be proud of the points that you're earning in this challenge. And you're really going to change the way you think about food, eat, and live in a healthy manner. So, uh, again, cheers. Uh, good luck to you guys while this challenge starts. Thanks.